The robotics team surveyed their members about their favorite kind of device to build. They compared the results between girls and boys. One bar for the number of girls is missing from the graph. If there are 56 students in total, what are the devices the girls like the least to build? Welcome to Mr. Sanchez and his math. Today we're going to be talking about the TIC 5.9c solve one and two step problem using data from the bar graph. This is the last lesson of this TIC. So we're going to be using the same word problem for each of the scenarios. We're just going to be changing each of the questions, right? So first question. Without the girls who selected the robots, which we don't have them there, which activities are liked by boys and girls for equal? So first, I'm going to put the numbers on the top of my bars so I can analyze the information easily. So whenever I analyze this information, which, which activity the boys and girls like for equal? Yes, robotic arms. Now, how many boys are there in total? So to answer these questions, I just have to count and add and combine the amount of boys that I have. So seven plus eight plus three plus nine. We're gonna be equal to how many boys? 27 boys. If there are 56 students in total, are there more boys or girls? I already know that we have 27 boys, right? Now I have to find how many girls. So I'm gonna combine five plus eight plus 10. That is gonna be equal to 23. So what can I do to find the rest of the girls? Well, I can combine the boys and the girls and I will have a total of 50 students in total. But I'm still missing another amount of students. So how can I find how many students are left? Yes, I have to take away from the 56, 50, so I will have a total of six students left. Six students left are who? The girls. So if are the girls, I'm just gonna add 23 plus six, and I will have a total of how many girls? A total of 29 girls. So there are more girls. If there are 56 students in total, what fraction will represent how many girls selected car and how many boys selected catapult combined? So how many girls selected car? Five. And how many boys catapult? Three. If I combine them, five plus three is eight. So that means that my total in this case is 27 plus 29, that is equal to 56. And my numerator is eight. If we're finding equivalent fractions, my equivalent fraction for five out of 56 is equal to one out of seven. Now, last type of question. If there are 56 students in total, what are the devices the girls like the least to build? We already know that six are the girls who like the robots. Well, we're gonna use this as a review, okay? So let's do it. The first part was to put the number on the top of each of the bars. Yes? Now I'm gonna combine all the students that I have in my graph. First the boys, that give me a total of 27 boys. Then the girls, that give me a total of 23 girls. If I combine boys and girls, it gives me a total of 15 students in total. And then, because I want to find how many girls, we said that we had to subtract the total minus the amount of students that we already have here. And it gives me a leftover of six. Those six are the girls who selected robots. So to answer the question, what are the devices the girls like the least to build? So is robots, catapults, robotic arms, or cars? Yes, are cars with only five girls because six girls selected robots. Now you know how to solve problems using bar. Thank you very much, guys. This was Mr. Sanchez and his map. Today we were talking about the TIC 5.9C solve one and two step problems using data from bar. This was the last lesson of this TIC. Remember to follow me on Instagram and Facebook on the left side of the screen, right? Before you leave, take some notes. Have a good one, guys.